Okay, fifth graders, 9-2, and they're talking about uh, fractions again. And it says, how can you show a, a quotient that's an answer to a division problem um, using a fraction or a mixed number? And that's exactly, as soon as I turn my music down, what we're going to do. Um, so let's see here. Um, the three friends are going hiking. Um, and they bought a tub of trail mix to share equally. How much will each friend get? Well, how much trail mix is there? There's four pounds. So the four pounds is going to be divided by three. And they've got that there, four divided by three. And I'll, also I could write it as four divided by three or four over three. And you guys should know by now, I would hope, how to uh, convert an improper fraction, because that's what that is, four over three, into a mixed number. So if I had, let's say, five over three, and I needed to convert that into a mixed number, I asked myself, how many times does three fit into five without going over? Well, um, it goes in once, doesn't go in twice, because that'd be six, and it'd be larger than five. What's left over? Well, there's two left over, and the denominator stays the same. Now, I've taught you guys this before, right? So five over three is the same as one, and two-thirds. Well, so the example here, it's four over three. How many times does three fit into four? It goes once, there's one left over, and the denominator stays the same. So four over three is the same as one and one-third. So when you have an improper fraction where the numerator, okay, is larger than the denominator, um, you need to figure out how many times the denominator will fit into the numerator. I mean, I could have something like, how about, um, what if I had 10 over 3? What would that equal? How many times does 3 fit into 10 without going over 10? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, so it's 3 times. What's left over? 9 from 10, that's 1 left over, and the denominator stays the same. So 10 over 3 is the same as 3 and 1 third, okay? Let me erase these here. Let's look at their example some more. Um, so um, it says divide each pound into three equal parts. This is what I'm looking at. Each part is 1 divided by 3 or 1 third. I mean, that's, that's one way you could look at it. And... Um, each friend gets one pound plus one third of a pound. So four divided by three is equal to four over three, which is equal to one and one third. All right, let's move down a little bit here. Let's look at the convince me. What does that say? It says Kate shares 64, shares a 64 ounce bottle of apple cider with five friends. Each person serving will be the same number of ounces. Okay. Well, I mean, so let's just let's just look at this here. So what are we talking about? We're talking about 64 over 5. Because what's being divided? It's a 64-ounce bottle of apple cider. It's not the friends. We're not dividing the friends. So what's being divided is always on top. Remember that. Talked about that yesterday. So um, you may not know how many times 5 goes into 64. I don't know. Well, let's actually do it. How many times does 5 fit into 64? Well, 5 fits into 6 once. Going to subtract. There's one left over. Bring down the 4. How many times does 5 fit into 14? That's going to be twice. That's 10. What's left over? 4 left over. All right. So 12 and 4 fifths is the answer. So the question is here. Let's look at this question. What's it say? It says... Between what two whole number of ounces will each person's serving be? Explain using division. Well, between what two whole numbers? So the whole number is 12. What's the next highest whole number past 12? It's 13. So it's between 12 and 13 ounces. Because four fifths is not a whole number, so it's not 13. It's close to 13, but not quite. Explain using division. Well, um, I suppose I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cut this. Cut, and I'm going to resize it. 
Isn't this nice? I can do this and I can just kind of stick it over here. Like I actually had to turn it in on this page. Almost doesn't fit. There we go. There you go. I explained it using division. <coughs> okay. Um, let's move down. Okay, how can you write 10 over 3 as a division expression and as a mixed number? So remember, the expressions are something without an equal sign. 10 divided by 3. And then as a mixed number. You know what? I actually did 10 over 3 just a few minutes ago, didn't I? 3 goes into 10 three times with one left over and the denominator stays the same. There we go, number one's done for you. You guys should be able to do these. I'm not gonna make this that long of a video, all right? Because you guys can do these, just think about these, try them. Um, how about this? It says in four and five, tell how much each person gets when they share equally. Two friends, three apples. What's being divided? It's not the friends, it's the apples. So what's being divided is on top, three over two. Well, what is that as a mixed number? Two goes into three once with one left over. One and one half. Each friend gets one and one half of an apple. Okay, independent practice real quick. Each, find each quotient, write each answer as either a fraction or a mixed number. Okay, well, 11 over, 11 being divided by 6. That's 11 over 6. It says a fraction or a mixed number. Well, in this case, the or would be, how many times does 6 fit into 11? Once, with 5 being left over, and the denominator stays the same. So 11 over 6, or 1 and 5 6. So let's look at number 12 here. 12 divided by 17. That's going to be 12 over 17. That's not an improper fraction. There's nothing else we can do with that. We can't change that into a mixed number because the numerator, what's on top, is not larger than the denominator. All right. Um, yeah, you guys should be able to do these. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Um, write a word problem that can be solved dividing six by five. And eh, don't have to do that one because I don't want to grade 50 different word problems. Okay. Um, how about number 20? Casey bought a hundred pound bag of dog food. He gave his dogs the same amount of dog food each week. The dog food lasted eight weeks. How much dog food did Casey give his dogs in each week? Well, um, you need to divide 100 by 8. And I'll let you figure that one out. Okay, that's it, you guys. Again, this is a relatively easy lesson. You should be able to do these. It's similar to, very similar to 9-1. So... Going to end this video. I'll talk to you guys later.